Meanwhile, in what is being described as a major setback to what might have been a key step towards bringing major political stability in the region, West African leaders have failed to agree to a common action plan against the ruling military hunters in Mali, Guinea and Burkina Faso. The leaders of the Economic Community of West African States, or ECOWAS, opened a meeting in Ghana's capital on Saturday to decide whether to ease or to ramp up sanctions against the ruling military regimes in the region. The summit was attended by the heads of states of most of the 15 member nations. The meeting, was, of course, was significant as it was initially planned to discuss the latest developments in Mali and the sanctions that were imposed in January after its junta announced its intention to rule for another five years. However, according to reports, the ECOWAS leaders have now decided to postpone the decision until the next summit in the month of July. Guinea, Burkina Faso and Mali are currently suspended from the West African nation bloc. The region has witnessed a series of military coups in a span of less than two years. There have been two coups in Mali, followed by Guinea last September and in Burkina Faso in the month of January. The West African bloc, which is keen to limit political instability in the region, has piled on pressure on these junta regimes so that these rulers shorten their so-called transition period and a civilian government can return fast. However, all efforts have fallen flat so far and all these military strongmen of these conflict-ridden nations have brazenly flouted the warnings and since have been sworn in as presidents of their respective interim governments. They also claim that they need time to rebuild their countries from years of insurgency and violence. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.